Great day, everybody. It is day 17 of the new year, new me, where every day you already know what's, what's happening. And so over the last couple of days, I kind of shifted to fitness and I talked about making sure you have that fitness assessment and you have some goals. On yesterday, I talked about having that workout plan so that you can plan to win and you don't end up failing as you are moving towards your goals. But the next thing that I want to talk about today is I'm coming to the kitchen. I'm not in here cooking. Instead, I'm eating this incredible apple that tastes really, really good, all right? And so today I'm going to talk about creating some nutritious habits that will help you to achieve your goals because I learned a long time ago that you cannot outwork a bad diet, right? I repeat that. You cannot outwork a bad diet. So the first thing that I began to do when it came time to creating nutritious habits is I just say like, Nike, you just got to do it. You just got to step out there and you just have to do it in order for you to be able to accomplish your goals. And so when you understand that, you will now just begin to create some healthier lifestyle habits that will then begin to allow you to shift in the direction that you want to shift. So, you know, be patient with yourself and understand that creating nutritious habits can take some time. However, however I'm that person that just says, just do it. But you got to do what's good for you. The second thing is have a plan, right? Plan out and prepare your meals, okay? That's something that has really helped me to be able to stay on task and on target because I'm a person who struggled with making sure that I ate. Not so much that I would eat horrible things, I, I stopped eating meat and so what, what, what happened with me was that I got bored with eating the same thing over and over and over again. So I would just decide not to eat and would starve myself all day long. And then when I did decide to come in the kitchen, I would just grab whatever, right? So you don't want to do that. But when you plan and you prepare and you now have some, some recipes, right? We have an incredible uh, system here that gives us some incredible recipes. And now you're able to stay on target and on track. Maybe you meal plan, you plan out the next five days, whatever works for you do it, okay? Anything that will help you to make sure that you're creating these healthier habits, right? And then on top of it, I want to say the next thing is be mindful, right? Be mindful of certain things. Not so much that you got to go in the, in the grocery store and, you know, like, look at everything, right? <laughs> right? But I can tell you when you know certain things, when you, when you know better, you do better, right? When you know, right? And so, therefore, understanding that, you know, sometimes in the labels, there are, there are things that are hidden. And so, I learned a long time ago that high fructose corn syrup is not good, but it's hidden in things that you would not even imagine. Like, why would it be in crackers? Why would it be in wheat bread? And so, this is the bread we buy because I realized that, you know, a popular name, wheat bread, that we were purchasing had high fructose corn syrup in and it is addictive it's like 10 times more addictive than cocaine and so when you know these things you do better and you have to be mindful to now stop these things and to look for better options in order to be able to make sure you're creating these nutritious habits the fourth thing that i would say is make sure that you're diversifying your plate and practicing food portions all right meaning make sure you got some veggies make sure you got some lean um, meat on there, um, you know, whatever. Make sure that you're diversifying some food. Uh, and also smaller portions will help you to, you know, not be hungry, but also it helps to increase your metabolism. So, you know, we have to realize that our stomach is about this size, but we end up with these big old plates piled this high, and we wonder why we're unhealthy. We have to stop doing that, okay? So practice the portion control, eat smaller meals, snack a little bit on healthy snacks like this apple, right? And I can tell you that you'll begin to feel better. And the last thing that I want to say is to make sure that you stop drinking sugary drinks, okay? Sugary drinks is going to keep you from achieving your goals. Replace it with water. Stay hydrated. Drink more water, okay? Because water is the key to life. Every single aspect of our body needs it. And so now make sure that you're... Um, drinking more water. I like to add lemon to mine. I like to add lime to mine in order to give me that feeling of having something much better than just water. But whatever it is, whatever works, or maybe some herbal teas. But getting rid of those sugary drinks will definitely help you to achieve your goals. So I hope that this helps somebody. And again, remember, the only way to change things is to change things. So let's go ahead and let's live a healthy lifestyle by eating better. See y'all soon.